So if you're saying, hey, I hate where I'm at now, I don't want this, all you're saying is I'm scarce. I'm incapable of dealing with what I have. And so life, universe, God, it's going to deliver you more scarcity. And that is all that you would be stuck with. It is this constant, fucked up, negative loop. But when you say, hey, I'm willing to conquer what I have right now, and I'm also grateful for the challenge in front of me because I know that this is an opportunity for growth. I know that this is part of my path to going where I want to go. Then you will start to be delivered with new options, right? New challenges, new opportunities for growth that get you closer and closer and closer to the person that you want to become or the life that you want to have. Now, let's talk about what happens once you have that. Once you're exactly where you want to go, sorry, I'm burning some incense in my room and the fucking smoke's getting in here. Once you, you know, have adopted what you have now, right? You love it, you're grateful for it. And then the next thing that happens is you're ready for new opportunity, right? Life starts to present you that opportunity. And you see what happens is our ego, when we're like, okay, we're ready for new opportunity, universe, send me something new, right? What happens is, we have this perfect picture of how we think it should come, how it should be packaged. The universe, or I mean our ego, it has this story that it, it makes up based on memory and like its imagination and like what it can do of how this opportunity should look when it comes in. And then we get presented with an opportunity that's packaged differently than our ego had in mind. And our ego says, well, that's not it. Like, fuck that, right? We're waiting for this. But what we don't realize and what the ego fails to consider is that like that is the experience that will actually take you to where you want to go. It may not come how you thought it would come, but this is what you need. Life will always deliver you exactly what you need. And if you understand that, that everything in life happens for you, not to you, you will be in a very fucking good spot because then you have no negativity, no animosity towards any situation that can come up in your life. Simply, everything that comes in, positive or negative, as challenges, is happening for you. There is a purpose, it is forcing you to go through it and grow. And if you're not ready, it'll, it'll stagnate you there at that core solution or that core issue until you find the solution to it and move on to the next one. Life will always present you with the thing that you need to continue on your path. And that is very, very important. And these things never come packaged how you or your ego think that they will. And so like this takes me back to like that old story, you know, where that, that there's a dude stranded at sea and he's like, God, please fucking save me. And the God fucking sends a boat, right? And the boat's like, hey, we're gonna save you. And the dude's like, no, I'm good. God's got me, right? Then God's like, what the fuck is this dude doing? So he sends another boat. They're like, hey, we're here to save you. Dude says, nah. I'm good, God's got me, right? And this happens three times, and the guy finally says, God, what the fuck? I thought you were gonna save me. And he's like, I did, you moron. Like, I sent you three boats. And so this guy had a picture in his mind about how the, the you know, the savior, the saving was going to happen. And it came in a different packaging, and so he rejected it when he could have gotten the solution and understand, understood that everything is unifer, universally entangled and connected and pushing situations into your life for you as opportunities for growth. So don't look at anything as negative. Man, why did this happen to me? Playing the victim, this situation's fucked up. Like, this isn't what I asked for. It doesn't matter what you asked for. What you asked for is to be presented with what you need to get to where you wanna go. And you have absolutely no idea what it looks like because we are just simple fucking humans in a much more complicated equation. And so we have to let go of our expectation of what is going to happen. Let go of our perfect view of how things are supposed to play out. And we have to watch how shit lies and then adjust accordingly and be open to the fact that the awareness, the aha moments, the light bulbs that go off may come from different sources that, than we ever imagined. And so I want you guys to really think about this when you're looking at 2020, when you're looking at who you want to become this year, right? What are some questions to ask myself? Well, 
how, do, what are my current feelings about my current situation, right? Am I negative towards it? Because if I can't find a way to express gratitude for my current opportunity, then I'm never gonna get presented with more opportunity, right? And also, have I dealt with this shit or am I hiding from it? Am I sedating myself and fucking drugs, alcohol, porn, people, whatever it, your form of escapism is, right? Are you hiding from your current problems? Because if you are, if you're doing either one of those two things, you're hating your current situation and you're also hiding from the problem, you'll never get new opportunity. And so you have to find a way to love what you have now to move on. And then, you know, the next part is when you move on, you have to be willing to understand that it likely will not come in the packaging that you thought it would come in. And so you have to be open. You have to have a wider view of what may give you these experiences and start to tackle things as they come. And if, if you do these things, you will see much more rapid growth in this year than you ever have in any year leading up to now. And so I really wanted to drop that with you guys today because it's been something that has been sitting on my mind a lot throughout planning and working with our coaching clients and getting them ready for the year. And so if setting goals and getting in the right mindset and actually executing on these things that I've been talking about in this video is an issue for you, then reach out to me, like be like, hey, how do I make this happen? Because we make this happen every single day for our clients in the Wake Up Wealthy Brotherhood and we watch them experience massive growth because of it. Our sole purpose is just getting them out of their own fucking way because you are a talented person just like every single person on this, on this earth. We all have something special, we all have talents, and we all have the ability to deliver value to the marketplace and give back and monetize that value and create an amazing life of fulfillment. But part of the human condition is letting our ego get in the way of that. And so this is something we help with. This is something that is very important. Like I need to get you out of your own fucking way. That is my life's work. And so if that is something that you struggle with, reach out to me. If it's not, take the fucking advice from this video and go out and have a kick-ass year. I will see you guys in the next video.